and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is our Aldi weekly food shop. Today is £67.51 worth of food. I've got six meal ideas in there for you and we are a family of five. So this feeds us for a week. We like to keep food costs down because then you've got more money to spend on other things. We would literally spend up to £200 a week and I think looking back I'm like that's so much money wasted that could have gone to better things. So I hope by sharing my food shop with you I give you a little bit of inspo and ideas of what to get you and your family. And they're the Aldi bags. Just a top tip if you do click and collect they come in these bags are absolutely rubbish for bringing them into your house we always keep these ones in the car and they're so much better and then we use those ones to pick up things like dog poo but they gave it too much information so to start off with let's go right in with our fruit for the week i've got some mini bananas some wonky raspberries these are literally the same as normal raspberries they're really good quality but slightly cheaper because they're all different shapes and sizes and that is literally the difference. When they pack them in the factories, it's like M&S and that will have a spec that they want them all the same. Whereas these little wonky ones can come cheaper. Then I've got some sweet and refreshing pineapple chunks. That is gonna be Tommy's first ever try of pineapple. So let's see how he gets on. I've got some red wonky grapes, some green wonky grapes, six mini apples. I find if I get the girls big apples, they just like eat one wheel around it and then they waste a lot of the apples. So I'm going for the mini apples and that is the fruit for the week. So this week we've got one, two, three, four, five, six bits of fruit and we've got some easy pillars from last week. Next up, I've got Tommy's little bits for this week. So I always buy two or three like squeezy pouches for if we're out in a rush and they're perfect for the changing bag or if we eat something way too spicy for him at dinner. So this week we've got him a mangoes. He loves mangoes. We've got a Greek berry style yogurt pouch and we've also got the mangoes, apples, bananas and peach pouch. And then these, they're already open because this boy loves them. Whenever he sees them, he wants them. We've got some veggie straws. These do say from nine months. However, Tommy's only seven months, but he's really good with lumps and bumps and these dissolve really well. So I'd say when you're weaning your baby, like the months thing, take it with a pinch of salt. Right, we've now got random lunchy bits. So, one minute, let's be a little bit more organized. So to start off with, I've got a loaf of the tiger bloomer. This is like tiger bread from Aldi. It is our absolute favorite. Wouldn't go back from it now. Definitely recommend tiger bread. And then I've got some chocolate chip brioche rolls. This is quite good if we're out and about for a snack for the girls to pop in the changing bag as well. And then I've also got some original breadsticks. Tommy will have a little nag on these and the girls will have them for snacks as well. I've got two packs of these yogurts, which seems really excessive. They're like so cheap for a whole pack. It's like 80p, but Tom will eat these. The girls will eat these and Tommy will eat these. And then I've got my yogurts, obviously, for those of you that don't know me, I'm a personal trainer, so I'm gonna be back at work within the next two months. So I'm now really focusing back on my nutrition and up in my protein. So I've got three vanilla protein yogurts. These are actually really good. I always rave about these. They're about 143 calories in a pot, but 25 grams of protein and the raspberry. They seem to be my go-to flavors. Never get bored of them. I've then got some crisps for Tom. So the ridges, thick cut variety. These are just your bog standard multi-pack. Then I've got some meatsters, which are basically like your cheap pepperamis. A pack of normal and a pack of spicy. Me and the girls will have these. And then I've got a pack of Baby Bell. The girls will eat these. And then a pack of mature cheddar sticks. Tom will eat them. And sometimes the girls will too, to be fair. And Tommy likes a little bit of cheese. Now I can have it. Next up, I've got some squash for the week. So we've gone for the orange and we've gone for the apple and blackcurrant. We love squash in this household. Then random items this week. I've got nine quilted toilet paper. Always get the quilted toilet paper from Aldi. It's so much cheaper than anywhere else. And some six pack of wipes. Again, always get the wipes from Aldi. It's so cheap. It's like two pound for a box of six. Whereas Pampers, it's like a pound 
for like just a normal pack of wipes but I don't get my nappies from Aldi anymore because they leak from size 3 up so we get Sainsbury's own. So now let's go straight in to our meal ideas for the week. I've got six meal ideas this week and they're all quite quick and easy meals. I'm not one. I want to spend ages in the kitchen once I've got three young children because it can sometimes be the manicest part of the day. So Tom is actually off work this week. So we are having a race dinner tonight. So I've got a whole large chicken breast and I always get large because we use the leftover chicken for other things. Some Marie's pipe, Marie's? Marie's? Marie's pipe of potatoes. Oh my God, I can't pronounce it again today, but that's nothing new. I've got two broccolis because my kids are broccoli mad. Tommy loves it, Lucy loves it, I love it, Ruby likes it. We've got a packet of carrots and then some golden Yorkshire puddings. Sometimes I make my own, but these are so quick and easy to just whack in. It's easier than not being able to open the oven for 20 minutes whilst Yorkshire's trying to open. Trying to open and trying to rise. There you go, got my words out. So, race dinner is meal idea number one. Meal idea number two for this week is actually going to be bolognese pasta bait. Sometimes I make my own pasta uh, bolognese sauce. However, we found this one and it's so tasty and quick and easy. If my camera will focus, there you go. But I do find that for all five of us, the pasta sauce, we like it like the pasta quite coated in sauce with the mince. So I do buy two. I know you can put water in a jar to get a little bit more from a sauce, but I find it waters down and then it doesn't really stick to the pasta as much. So I buy two bar, two bars, I buy two jars. Then I've got a penne a pasta and then some 5% lean beef steak mince. If you follow me for a long time, you'll know that we actually used to eat turkey mince a lot. However, the texture is slightly different. So the household's compromise for the healthiest version is the 5% fat, the lowest fat one. So to go all out a bit of rock and roll and on the edge this week, instead of having it with spaghetti, I'll put it in the oven, cook it all up and sprinkle loads of melted cheese over it and make it super tasty pasta bake. Meal idea number two is gonna be a slow cooker chicken curry. So I make the sauce from scratch. I've got garlic, onions, I've got some coconut milk, I've got some chunky chopped tomatoes. I'd run out of curry powder. So I'm trying this one for the first time. I'll let you know what I think of it. I'm gonna be a bit wary because I don't wanna make it too spicy, too quick for the kids. I've got two plain naan bread. So we'll all have like half a naan bread each. And then we've got some rice as well. So it's gonna be our homemade chicken curry. Meal idea number three is it gonna be some chili dogs. So I've got some mints in the freezer and I'm gonna make up my own chili con carne sauce. And then I've got some sliced brioche hot dog rolls. The brioche ones are so tasty, so much nicer, definitely recommend. And they have quite a really good shelf life. I find normal like hot dog rolls I get never last that long. These ones last a lot longer. And then some sausages. So we'll just have like hot dogs and then pour chili con carne over the top, which is really nice and tasty. And that's the meal idea. Meal idea number five is gonna be a chicken fajita tray bake. Can you hear Tommy blame with Tom? So we've got a packet of rice for the kids. We've got some peppers got some sort of tuna chips so I'll do like some nachos on the table as well we've got some chicken breasts and a fajita chicken kit I'll offer the girls wraps as well but they're not as fussed with it hence why they have it with rice and instead of cook it and fry it I'll do it in the oven as a like one pan dish of a tray bake uh, I've got Tommy, he is our seven month old kid. Hear me and wanted me, yes you did. So if you hear him chatting in this last little bit, it's because you've come and joined me on my hip, isn't it? Are you cheeky? <laughs> <laughs> and meal idea number six is actually gonna be some quesadillas. So if those of you that know me for a while, that's Quizelda's. <laughs> Um, basically it's a wrap in a frying pan and then you load it with any ingredients that you want <coughs> oh bless you and it <coughs> oh bless you and it makes it a really nice dinner so I've got eggs and bacon so they can have like a breakfast style 
quesadillas and for me I'm going to use some of the leftover chicken from the roast dinner and peppers and have like a chicken peppery uh. one mm. and that is our weekly food shop I hope you like what you saw today and if you did please make sure that you subscribe drop us a like and come join the channel for lots more videos coming soon of us and the cheeky little monkeys are you done should we go play yeah, should we go play? <laughs>